see that. begins all right this is where the fun begins <laughs> this is where the fun begins carla burton says hey guys can't watch but saying hi well hi well i'm glad you like it carla i like that opening too even though final fantasy has nothing to do with this but <laughs> has to do with you though yeah <laughs> It kind of makes sense to start the show. You got Barrett yelling, go! And clouds, and then the music. And I'm just, I'm happy I'm able to have that music and not get copyright or anything. So. Uh, yeah, I've been, don't say nothing. Yeah, right? <laughs> but what's up, Daniel Barry? Hello, hello, Daniel Barry Sports Highlights. And uh, yeah, he covers all the different sports. I've watched some of his highlights on his channel. Mostly watch the basketball stuff because I'm a huge basketball fan. I will have to subscribe then because I don't get to see many sports. Yeah. And I'll have to see how he does his highlights because how YouTube and the NFL does their highlights, I hate it because mm -hmm. you get no commentary. You just hear what it is in the game. So you just kind of have to put it together. You're Man. like, oh, this is a continuing drive. Like every – edit you got to look at the clock and you know yeah. you got to put a lot together to kind of figure out how the game's going yeah so i'll be i'll be interested to see some other takes because those professionals just don't they're not very professional right <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations everybody here we now are with appion who is recommended by Bane. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hold on one second. We should play the Bane endorsement. Thank yes, you for reminding God me. Play, God play all your endorsements, yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely voice. Back to formula. Games begin. Games begin. <laughs> Oh, my editing on this is actually pretty good because I got past all the copyrights for the movie and oh, good. The sounds and everything. Yeah, hopefully Tony uses this for his uh, advertisement. Out there in the YouTube sphere. <laughs> this is it's like your new commercial for shows you're on. To yep. tell you about my friend Appian you're like, well, I put a promotion uh, it's Appian with a zero. Put together. Not an o. <laughs> yep. It tells so you everything you need. You probably <laughs> won't find him. So that's right off the bat. That'll help right you. Right off the bat. That, that pointing, yeah, that was good. You see shows like Two Guys Talking every Saturday, where two buffoons talk about different <laughs> movies and TV shows for about an hour and a half. Sometimes Morgan Freeman even shows up. <laughs> and he does watch parties and plays video games as well. Thank you, and enjoy the channel. <laughs> Enjoy the chat. I like that. Oh, yeah, he does video games too. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> man. Uh, man. I checked that out. I was like, what is this? I was like, I recommend I haven't seen this. <laughs> yeah. Because Tony was asking me to put together like a little ad for my channel, and I'm like, I have the perfect idea. I'm going to have Bane from Dark Knight Rises pretty much sell, sell my channel. That was good, so, though. I yeah. liked it. Glad you enjoy it. What's up, Jet Sparks? Yeah, I mean, you don't really have a whole lot of footage to work with with him. He's yeah. not. <laughs> he's not exactly the most. Um, like, uh, 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 he doesn't gesture very much. He's yeah. not, you know. <laughs> Those attempting to flee. <laughs> but the uh, the being able to st to do the voiceover probably a little easier. No lip, no lip reading, no lip movement, no nothing. Yeah. <laughs> And, and I didn't write anything down. I thought it would be better just to, like, just free flow, say whatever's <laughs> off the top of my head. And it, it worked out pretty good. Yep. Or at least have the idea 
and practice it a couple times so you can say it in a good sentence. Yeah, I did it. You know I did it I mean? once. I did it once. I, okay, yeah, it wasn't in one take because my first take it was just a mess. Like I, I was like tripping over my words, and I'm like, okay, I have to redo this. Because even be if like you record it a couple times and then you'll listen, if you listen to how you say it, you're like, oh, I know what I I know what words I need to yeah put the punch in and stuff so yeah yeah uh suggestion for everybody even if it's just a little thing listen to yourself once just mm -hmm. see if you, nobody likes listening to the self or watching themselves i get it but it will help you deliver stuff better uh, hi. unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dada! <laughs> he like all, oh, he doesn't even say this. like yeah. his whole name. He leaves out like the last letter. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah, I, love this, I love his power slide when he comes into frame. Oh, so good, dude. He's so like his gesture, his flamboyancy is so funny, dude. And Friday. And in Mo Money and those or Money Talks, I think it was. He was in that with Charlie Sheen, dude. He was really funny. Yeah. In Rush Hour, he's good. Yeah. No, God, yeah. Rush Hour. Jeez, he's so funny. But yeah, he, hey, what's up? What no, I was just gonna say he would have to be to keep up with Jackie Chan. I hear Jackie Chan just turned 70. Mm-hmm. I, I do hope man. they do a rush hour four though. I'm not gonna lie. Jackie needs to do some movie where he can still do his martial arts old. Like, he needs to be Grandpa Fu or something. Yeah. There needs to be something. I know he loves doing his comedy, which is fine. I enjoy it. But he needs to have another big movie. He needs something. Jackie Chan is not Untouchables material or Expendables yeah, the material. La the last great movie <laughs> I saw him in was uh, The Foreigner with him and Pierce. Oh, Brothers. yeah. There's a lot of those. And he's kind of sneaking movies out. You know, like, oh, you're like, yeah. shit, another Jackie Chan movie. Cool. I didn't know he was doing anything. <laughs> right. But, I mean, honestly, I'm sure he was very busy during the past four years, and we heard nothing. So are you are you saying yeah. he snuck up on you? Well, very, very. kind of just snuck up on me there, ma'am. I fear you're underestimating the sneakiness, sir. Jackie Chan, very, very sneaky star. Yeah. <laughs> like a ninja. Ninja warrior. That's <laughs> so racist. <laughs> okay. That would, oh. that would be interesting. Adam Sandler yeah. and Jackie Chan. Oh, man, that would be a match. That would be a great pairing, actually. I would love that. The comedy would be fun. He's like, wow, you can do all that stuff, too, huh? <laughs> I dab -a -doo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, today we're talking about The Mask, and we're watching The Mask, and then we'll be talking about it a little bit more. But, yeah, this movie came out in 1994 um, and directed by Chuck Russell, which he's also done... The Scorpion King, the first one, which I really like. Ah, funny. And he did a racer with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which oh. is another movie I like. Your luggage. Yeah. Well, he doesn't <laughs> have a lot of you know credits. Like the last movie he made was in 2022, Paradise City. Yeah, he kind of doesn't he makes like one movie every couple years, it seems like, so he doesn't have too big of a resume. But yeah, this is a good movie. Like Cameron Diaz is like breakout well, not kind of a breakout role for it, it it was the first movie where she really got noticed we can say yeah. that safely i think definitely and this movie was made for jim carrey oh if yeah. anybody had ever watched him on in living color you're like oh he is kind of like a living cartoon like he yeah. can do some of these silly poses and stuff like that and granted there's some computer graphic integrate or whatever they're doing with the with the uh, cartoon ad additions in there i'm not sure mm -hmm. if that's exactly computer graphic or not but well there's some computer graphics but then some of the practical effects are like are really impressive where it makes it look like it's um you know computer animated but it's actually mm. you know really there you'd think it would because they'd be like why would they do that but yeah, yeah. they do do a lot of practical because even in like do. <laughs> his um his apartment he when he's doing the big transformation like he is obviously animated but then the stuff going on in the room is not 
Like there's little pops and all this practical stuff kind of going off, things falling over and getting thrown around and stuff. So yeah. they, add, they, they do a good job. Again, that time of filmmaking when they're kind of blending the two very well. Yeah. So, yeah, we got the Cosme link here in the chat for people that want to watch along with us. I, I should have put it in the private for you. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this movie started. Get the show rolling. Let's rock this joint. Let's rock this joint. So for the people on the rewind, the movie's going to start at 11 minutes into the stream. So three, two, one, action. Yeah, and then the general trivia, the first thing it says, this is Cameron Diaz's first acting role. Here we go now. New Line Cinema. I remember when New Line only meant a couple things. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Freddy Krueger? Oh, this was a Dark Horse comic? Dark Horse Entertainment. Was this a comic series? It could have been. They did do a lot of more reality-based comics that I didn't know about. Yeah, the dark comic I mean, like, Sin City was a comic series and all these ones we've watched, so it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. And I like how it's like Loki's mask. See if I can do some poking. Let's see. Excuse me. Jesus. Oh, I do remember the comic. The God of Mischief mask. Good old Loki. The art is super cool on the comics. We don't talk about the uh, son of the mask with Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why not? <laughs> why, yeah, why not? Oh, such a pushover. He's more of a pushover than even in me, myself, and Irene in this. Oh, yeah. Like, he's... Actually, I don't know. He's like the world's biggest pushover in that movie. It's, it's... And then this guy, I can't believe he uh, self-deleted. It's kind of makes this yeah. movie kind of weird. Comments, well, I mean, though comic background some yeah robin have, williams all these some yeah. of them have really even the ones that are doing really good have bet yeah. dark stories you know that's why they can make us laugh <laughs> but he's great in this movie he's a great no like, i always kick. loved him great sidekick to stanley Ip exactly yeah he's a great second man because yep. he's a good he builds you up you know yeah what's up sci-fi sit down how you doing Hello. Welcome to the show. Movie just started. <laughs> Cue the storm. Oh, man. Every outfit she wears in this movie, she just knocks it out the park. And her acting's good, too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> man, she looks so good. She just looks so different. Here she resembles much more the actress from the Mummy movies. This is literally the male gaze, like what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I'm all good with it. She could have walked away. They'd both still be standing there like, what are you doing? She's still tousling her hair. <laughs> um, She left. Right. They're, watching, they're literally watching in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> His face. Oh, great. Great camera angle oh, there. Oh, goodness. Good job, cameraman. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Simp. <laughs> <laughs> Creep. Whatever. You know, <laughs> they're words. <laughs> this movie. And that makes it super creepy. Like, it was it's just the perfume, though. It's just a perfume. Yeah. It's just a perfume. He does, he does it right with her. And, like, you, you can see him do it. But that's not... That used to be a compliment. Not the way he did it, but that I must know what you're wearing. You yeah. smell great. You know? <laughs> Yeah, it was her first film. Yeah, they had that on the uh, general oh. trivia on the movie as well. So, <clears throat> got that. I want to send think. this to you real quick. Mm -hmm. She's literally honey potting him, too. Oh, yeah. We find that out later, but. I'll send you a little screenshot with a brief explanation and a picture of the art there <laughs> Court. that's why i bought it naked girls <laughs> not that his last name would have like the word kiss in it and then she says it like seductively. Yeah, yeah. Such an eighties tie. Well, eighties, early nineties. There, Jeez. damn. Lord of mercy. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, he literally does that in the movie. He's dying right now. Oh, shredding a pen. That can't be good. <laughs> nice and sharp. <laughs> that. that fake laugh is just horrible. Camera bag. Look at the oh, size of that TV. Too. And it's live <laughs> recording. Like back then, that's. It'd be like a little private closed caption TV or a little camera she's taking around. Yeah. Yeah. They would have to have like a van outside to relay that signal. <laughs> is this after? Because if that is live, that. Oh, live. maybe. Yeah. She probably taped it all. Yeah. They paused yeah, this it. This is recording. Yeah. That's there you go. I'm like, if that's a live feed, that's amazing. <laughs> or 90s technology, that's like way yeah. ahead of their time. Mm -hmm. I love the villain in this film, too. This guy, he's always in vi villain roles, especially oh, back in the 90s. I don't know if he could be a good guy with his look. Right? He's got the facial features of a villain. That that's like a dirty move, man. The burning the eyeballs out. Woo. In his office, sitting in his chair. Yep. This guy ain't nothing. Where do they get a load of me? <laughs> There's just something about like the middleman, like trying to overtake the main bad, like the main bad guy, and then he becomes. Big well, shit. it's always the younger guy because he's like, yo, you're too old. You can't handle this anymore. Or whatever. And I think this is the um, Ghostbusters. Oh, I think you set. might be right. I never confirmed that, but I, I've always wondered if this was the Ghostbusters set. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to control myself with a. Beautiful woman like Cameron Diaz right there. She might make me putty in her hands. Oh, jeez. That'd be a woman you would have, you'd see, and you'd have to just look away. I'm not looking. Yeah. I am not looking. <laughs> right? <laughs> striking, striking. And that's the problem. You don't see... 
somebody that looks like that, wears a dress like that, and looks like that out in the open. Anybody would stare. Just going into a thing. <laughs> yeah. Even the Coco women would Bongo. stare. Bitch. No. <laughs> Coco Bongo. I love this nightclub set. It's a great, it's a great set. It's so like great old location. school. Yeah. It, it's like it's, it's Rat a pack. nightclub you see in like Miami Vice or something. Or oh, exactly. Like exactly. Miami nightclub. Rat Pack, yeah, like some place. I that, think like old, you know, like I want to see like Lucy and Desi Arnaz, like their club. <laughs> Just have him and his band on stage. That wasn't embarrassing. So bad. I would not have even drove my car up there. I would have parked it a, like a block exactly, over and then just exactly. walked up. Nobody would have been the wiser. Exactly. This dude, Where's that dude. Oh, I parked it. I didn't want it to get scratched or stolen or something. You know, like that, you could have excuses. This guy's today. suit jacket is horrible. Granted, this guy's leopard print is horrible like too. Picnic, but uh, it does. Like thing looks like say, a like picnic. Yep. Yeah. Tablecloth. A tablecloth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't think of the word tablecloth. Man, Mary. his his buddy kind of does him wrong there, though. A little bit. Yep. You don't touch the rope. Only I touch the rope. <laughs> oh, I forgot he said the cross. I was trying mm -hmm. to make a joke. <laughs> Too close. Watch it on my bleeder. It didn't even sound like he hit the ground. It actually sounded like he landed on a mattress. <laughs> right. <laughs> I um, never noticed that before. This God. This kind of stuff. I always wonder how actors deal with it. Okay, you're gonna need to take a face full of muddy water here yeah. in a second. He's kind of like a oh. fire in Spider Man where like just everything <laughs> bad keeps happening to him. Like he's a he's a bad luck magnet. Oh my god, that dress. Could she look any better? The answer is yes. My lord. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, here's another clip for you. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Lower to mercy. That valet was very quick to get the car back right after he took it. Oh, the they didn't park that car where they parked the other car. Right? <laughs> that shit on the street near the bus stop or something. <laughs> Man. Been there. Never hit my head on the steering wheel, though. But the dying car, I can relate to. Take your pick. No Dead battery, broke down engine, out of gas. Rocco thinks the redhead in the movie's hotter. She's hotter? Hot. Nah. She's good looking. Definitely a good looking woman. But when they pull that fast one on you and they make She kind of has, nice. she's got a little bit of a pucker to her face <laughs> for me. That's funny. It just literally falls just apart. Took it all out. Talk to the hand. Wash my hands of this nonsense. Gosh, I don't even know if talk to the hand was a thing when this movie, if it was a mm -hmm. thing yet. <laughs> Smite! Me, mighty smiter. <laughs> that would get your blood pumping, though. You honestly think you see a body floating in the river? Yeah. That's going to make your heart skip a beat. I might jump it, in and see what's up, It makes up him too. look like a heroic character, too. Of like, he doesn't find the mask like out of, like, you know... Just greed or something. He's literally trying mm -hmm. to thinks he's trying to save somebody. No, this is almost one of those things. Like, oh, he was fated to have the mask. Yep. Like it was. It was trying to find him. Yeah. 
But I mean, the, we see the what the mask wants does. To be found. It wants the to mask do some mischief, yeah. But the mask through him is a good person. He still does things, but he's not like when the other guy gets it. You know, he's like yeah, the two it sides of the coin. Whatever, yeah, it enhances whatever like qualities you have already. Oh, you know, Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> like Red Skull, exactly. And the only reason he doesn't get taken to jail is because he found that mask. Because they're like, oh, this kook, get him out of here. Oh, in steps the Spider Man like landlord. Rent? Damn, she kind of got you there. Sucks, though. Like, he's very visibly disheveled and soaking wet, and it's not mm -hmm. even a... What happened to you? <laughs> Even in a mean way. You know? <laughs> like, no concern for this guy. I love that lamp. That's so damn cool. Yeah, because, like, the cartoons he watches kind of, like... The cool dog. Where he got the inspiration for, like, how he acts when he's got mm -hmm. the mask on. And he's, like... They're Looney Tunes cartoons, a, but they're the Looney not Looney Tunes. Yeah. They're, like, all the other cartoons that were out. <laughs> But I remember this cartoon, but this is not the Looney Tunes group, you know. Oh, the dog oh this dog is dog. fantastic. Love the dog. That's pretty good for a little dog. Uh, anyone? Clear anyone? eyes. Anyone? Moisturized. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> yeah, clear eyes for real. <laughs> He was on that game show for a long time too. Ben Snot, Ben Stein knows more than you, or something like that. This is such a good one. He that was man an has actual the driest. That man has the driest yeah. way of speaking of delivery. All the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I sound like Droopy Dog. It is his character. We have you know to, the dog, you know. Droopy Dog. Or oh whatever. yeah, he kind of reminds me of like a human version. Of Droopy that. and Eeyore, kind of all in one. Yeah, Eeyore. <laughs> Oh, Droopy actually was a little mischievous. Jo Droopy would uh, get get you every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how likely I'd want to put that on after I saw it trying to like fuck itself in my face. Kind of a red flag. Oh, the skeleton. And you see the Tasmanian devil? Uh, oh, hello. yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Those teeth. Ah, this is great. The teeth are just ridiculous. Because I got a... I bet Jim Carrey never talked in his normal voice at all with that thing on. Hell no. I bet he couldn't help it. I would method act. This creepy uh, he does so good. <laughs> Why he's got a weird clock in his pocket. Because he's a cartoon character. I, I know. Because he pulls Just, out a, a unrealistic sledgehammer. Large yeah. hammer. <laughs> out of the opposite pocket. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> That'd be so hard to do. Oh. That laugh. <laughs> Snooze. 
Wow. Boing. And it's crazy. Like, he's literally invincible. Like, he can't die when he has the mask. Well, not normal means, yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> the noisy cricket. Squeeze me gently. That dude's ears drum. <laughs> That's awesome. Gun. Ah, his hair. <laughs> uh, and the way he walks. Oh my god. And he does, he drives away. That's what always made me laugh as the guy drives away. What's up, meatloaf? No. Oh man. This is the part with the condom. This is great. He pulls out the, pulls out the I, used condom. I didn't even think about this, but this is similar to the Bruce Almighty alley fight. Isn't that the one where he makes the monkey come out of the guy? Yes. <laughs> Move it! <laughs> I just love how excited they, these gangsters are. Like, oh. Hey, my yeah, my man. <laughs> it's my giraffe. <laughs> Look at the used condom. Sorry, wrong box. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke that totally went over my head as a kid when I first so watched the movie. I'm like, though. I don't get it. But you watch it as an adult, and you're like, that's fucking gross. Because once you know what it funny. is, yeah, you're like, I don't get it. It's just a deflated balloon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Our son had to put her down. <laughs> his sad face. So his sad. sad face. He's like, oh. I hate these puppies. <laughs> the licking. <laughs> That's so funny. I love That's this. Um, I love this um, gun. And then it turns into one like epic. Like he almost has the power of Green Lantern. Like, whatever his imagination, he could, like, create at will. Yeah, I I think of him as, like, uh, you know, mi like Mixelplik from yeah, Superman. Plick, yeah. You know, it's kind of like that. And there was a guy, they had him in, in Smallville, too, that character, and he just yeah. messed with them the whole time. Just kind of put him in some new reality. It's like, let's see what happens. I wonder how many of those one-liners were his and how many got wrote. See, that's the most fucked up thing I think Stanley Ipkiss does in the whole movie. I know those guys did him dirty, but I think they he did like, put him in the hospital. They did everybody dirty. Yeah. Like, they were running weird. one of those businesses just to extort people. Oh, we got your car. You want it back? We're going to charge you for storage fees. They'll be fine. They could have went to jail and had the same thing. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, for real. <clears throat> oh, damn. Three locks. What is he like in LA? Is this it's LA just, or New York? What well, it's just, it? I don't think it's anything. It's a metropolis. It's a main uh, metropolis. Okay. Think of it kind of that way, you know. Because you can't even place the time period correctly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They just kind of got some 50s, some 80s stuff in there. There's some, you know. They have a, a club where they play, like, actual club lounge music still. <laughs> How many decades ago was this? 
But that's a legit excuse. I got held up because there's an investigation in my building. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's a real reason. Like the police didn't let me leave. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. They wouldn't have let him just go to work. Like if he was trying to get out of the building right there, they'd have been like, sir, you can't. We need to talk to you. The dog is so awesome. I love that. I want a dog like that. I guess everybody would. It's a smack him face. Oh, I thought he smacks himself with a the face there, too. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite dog characters in a movie. Like, the dog actually helps. Mm -hmm. Well, those little dogs, some of the that, those Jack Russell types are pretty smart. They kind of do that with you. But it's awesome to see it in movies because you think, oh, it makes it more like I can train my dog to be like that. Right. <laughs> What's that bump? Like, look at that. He shoved those things up their asses. Uh-huh. In the gutter. In the gutter. <laughs> He's so downtrodden in the gutter. <laughs> Great picture, too. Oof. And that name. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Weren't you just giving him shit about oogling the picture? Yep. Mm hmm. I knew one of those guys, too, unfortunately. It wasn't a bank, but. <laughs> That's not what BBD means anymore. You can replace the D with something else. <laughs> Bigger, better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> deal. Bigger, better deal. Yeah. That's super funny. He's like, wow, that's pretty specific. <laughs> yep. Everybody wants Stanley. Poor, Poor guy. guy. <laughs> I know. Right? He's like, damn. He tries so hard. Swing and a miss. Because <laughs> they pollute. Oh, that car, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, back. On tune logic. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what an awkward laugh. And Jim Carrey's actually killing it right here because he's acting kind of oblivious. You know what I mean? So he's doing a great job because he doesn't just seem like he's awkward. Like he's pulling this off. Again, a comedic actor at the time. This guy will never be able to be in a drama. Get your hands off me. This is some gangster move right here with the T. Oh, jeez. My heart would be pumping. If you tell your goons to come after me again, we're going to have words. Oh, stick it in your mouth. You'll stick it in your mouth and you'll like it. Don't drop that ball. <laughs> this would F his face up so bad. Got crushed it though. <laughs> I'm sure that hurt a bit, but like. That's not that bad. Considering how, like, he could have hit his nose or anything, you know. Yeah, he could have just swung it right in the lip. side of his face. Yeah, he just gets a little cut on his lip. He'll be all right. But that, you got to think about that. Like, he make you hold something in your mouth, and then somebody, like, yanks it out of your mouth. It's like, that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, it's not the most intimidating thing no, like exactly. Boss could have done. No, him swinging that wedge over his face. He's, you know, it's kind of like yeah. that moment. He's like, you don't want me to be nervous, do you? Yeah. I get the, I get the shanks when I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> How to make smoking look that cool. crane movement, so funny. Littering and. Baron, 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 Baron. So odd. So odd. So, Cameron, what we want you to do today is lick Jim Carrey's ear and get a little bit of his hair in there. Pretending to be a his dog. What? Tell me they did not bust up laughing the first three or four days. There's no way. I don't even think I could lick another person without laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> not that way. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the, the actors they got to do it, like, they don't really know these people. <laughs> Especially Cameron Diaz. Like, since we know this is our first movie, like, uh -huh. experience. You're going to be sex, you're going to be eye candy, <laughs> sex appeal, and you're going to lick Jim Carrey's ear. <laughs> okay. Who's Jim Carrey? He's the white guy on In Living Keller. Oh, okay. <laughs> like this music. The the score of this movie is great. Very good, the music. Without having any songs, you know, all all created for the movie. Well, they play he, good. The, the Latin beat. Well, yeah, ziggy yeah, boom, yeah. Ziggy boom. yeah. Yeah, but I know what you're yeah. saying. I'm just, <laughs> I can't but wait then. for that. That's, my, like, that's like one of the best musical like numbers. My name is Cuban Pete, 
and I'm the king of the rumba beep. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I like it when he grabs the female officer. <laughs> yes. And I she like starts the singing. Dance, he just one starts dancing and it's like dancing against her will. She doesn't know what's happening. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Oversized toothbrush. The dog. I love that. So funny. Ooh, somebody stop me. I've said that like my whole life because of this movie. Pretty smooth mustard suit, though. When you... And then he goes full villain and straight up robs a bank. He's making a withdrawal. Not just any bank. Doesn't he rob the one he works at? Yeah. Plus the Edge <laughs> City. You're right. So it's like some made up. Made up oh, city. I forgot they do actually say what it is. I didn't yeah. I didn't remember that either. Yeah, Edge City. Totally seems like a comic book name, though. It makes me think, have I heard that in something? Like, it could be in DC <laughs> Universe with, like, exactly. Coast, Coast exactly. City and, like, mm -hmm. you know, and all those silly names. Yeah, Star City and all that, yeah. <laughs> For real. Central City, The Flash. That Tasmanian spin is fucking cool, man. Now, is that Priest from Blade? Or it just looks like him? Yeah, it looks like him. I know the one guy with the headset was the dad in the uh, terrible Fantastic Four. Oh, remake. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that club is always popping off, man. That nightclub is a killer. Hells yeah. Look at the size of this limo. Baseball Three, size limo. Three moon, no, four, mo five moon roofs. <laughs> it would God need wheels damn. in the middle. No. I have to know them. <laughs> makes, it, makes it rain on them. Doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't even need the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's getting in. <laughs> yes. Nice. Bye bye. Hey, what's up, Tim? I think it'd be cool to experience a club like this. <laughs> this would be interesting, like an actual show. Be kind of cool. Oh my lord! I mean, I've seen concerts and stuff, but I've never seen anything like this. Bravo to the costume department for these outfits. Oh that they made for yeah, her. they are amazing. And then you got a gold microphone. Epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the style of this movie. Well, yeah, gotta have the best. It's gold for everybody. Yeah, that dress is dynamite. The little tassels. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a lampshade, basically. <laughs> it's about as <laughs> big as a lampshade. <laughs> and then he immediately turns turns back around. So yeah. <laughs> Bink. I love the noise. It's like, yeah, it's the cartoon noise. I'll tell you, this is the first scene. Where you go, hmm, maybe better than Jessica Rabbit? Boom. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like the cartoon he watched. <laughs> God, that's the best pose Boom. right there. Boom. I got to give it to her. She pulls this off pretty good. I always thought it'd be tough to sing these right? slow songs like this. I don't know if she's actually singing, but she's got the movements and the, all the all the stuff down. Sing it, girl. I'm sure Ow! She's just lip -syncing, but it, it looks good. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Wax himself in the head with the hammer to bring himself back. 
epic. Oh yeah, this this little giddy. This is a great. Oh, this is the best. Too. This is great. I love this toms here. The it's drum awesome. right here. So do you so you thinking that like he's giving them extra talent too, right? Because he's basically oh like, yeah music. If this show happened, this club would be all over the papers. Oh, that's they'd be like, who lit. is this guy? That side was that slide he did was awesome. Yep. Always wondered if it was legit or if it was a pole, like, you know, with a Yeah, wire this is the something. song where every time I hear this song, I think of this movie and this scene immediately. Oh, well, yeah. Damn. Yeah, whoever they got to do this dance sequence, amazing. Yay! Oh, you know who this is? This is the. This is like the. Cherry Poppin' Daddies or somebody. Mm. The band. I forgot about that. All right. I think they're the ones that did Zoot Suit Riot. That's not Jim Carrey or Cameron Diaz. <laughs> they do a good job of. It's of good, though, it. yeah. I love the drums. Yes, sci-fi said that. And the mask is definitely all of us when we see a super hot woman. Except he can express himself more <laughs> cartoonish and not you know, get thrown out of the club. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the stuff a lot of people are thinking. If our tongue comes that far out of our head, I think we'll get kicked out. And then yeah. I think it is priest, is it not? Hmm. I can't tell enough. I know the guy that played Priest was in Underworld. It was Marcus, but I don't know. If that's oh, him. okay. That's probably not him. Just looks like him. It does kind of look like him. Well, the hair kind of too. If he didn't have the same Whoa. haircut, it might not look like him at all. Damn. Jelly leg. Do it. I don't know if she'd be able to do that in the heels. Well, he's if he can power up the band, oh, yeah. he's, he's no like one's, enhancing No that. one's falling like, tonight. Yeah, look at that shit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, CGI didn't look too good on that. It looked, just looked like a blur. But, alright. <laughs> so good. Her shoes, shoes pop off. off. Damn, you could have hit her. You could have hit the girl. Fully. Hit Cameron. Hello. <laughs> oh, the club's closed. No, oh, you don't say. Is that guy just still drinking his drink? It looked like. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yep, tax season. <laughs> funeral bouquet <laughs> that's actually a good joke about like how many people he's killed and probably sent flowers to like their funeral yeah hi 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 <laughs> and Jim Carrey doing all his own voices here oh I love this this is so good. This old school cowboy voice is so funny. They love me. They really love me. The little squeaks he puts there is so the, good. He's going for the Oscar. <laughs> that cough is so bad. <laughs> he's making the guy emotional. I do give a down in his face. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> this it is. You, got <laughs> you love me. 
<laughs> and then dude's it's like, where did all these people come from? It's funny because this other guy actually sees the people. Uh, he starts straightening up and doing his hair. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, Vincent Rush? Hey. Nothing to see here. Warren. Pretty, pretty gutsy, dude. They were just unloading rounds yeah, in the club. I have club. like a thousand <laughs> eyewitnesses that were in this club when a shootout happened. Warren. Damn. And it's funny that dude they were shooting at, no one even sees him. He didn't say, what about this dude? Yeah. It like just immediately goes to this. It would have made, what he said would have made sense if like he came into the club while it's full of people and he just approaches them. But this is literally after a shootout that all the clubs <laughs> Yep. I don't think. Yeah, if they were that's, cleaning that's up. pretty much probable cause. And this is that, yeah, I didn't realize until you see this. You're like, oh, his clothes, he doesn't change his clothes. His clothes actually change. Mm -hmm. Like he's not in a suit. He's still in his pajamas. Yeah, it's like part of the transformation, yeah. Like Mystique just makes clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's not good. I mean, the money's was, great, but what was he gonna <laughs> get from that closet? Like why did he I know, I know. That's not how you do it, man. Man. He just comes in anyways. He's kind of like the Commissioner Gordon character, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's the detective on the case. Yeah. yeah. See, this is the conflict, plot conflict, because this detective is actually after the good guy and the bad guy, but it's really showing up. Like, this guy's a legitimate bad guy, Ipkiss, somehow. Because things just keep coming to this detective's attention, you know? Yeah. A man's pajama drawer. This video is so funny. What? How do you just have such a blasé reaction to this? He's literally doing inhuman, superhuman real, shit. yeah. Like, that's what makes me think in this world that, that maybe superheroes exist or something or people with powers. Something, yeah. Because they're too chill about this. They're both way too chill about that video. Like, you just saw him zip around the room. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, yeah, he's a, he's a weirdo. It's, it's like, pretty what? fast. It's a prop. Yeah, you're like little dude with like the Flash. Oh, I did send you a, a little uh, screenshot okay, on sure. the Twitter DM. I oh, yeah. That. Yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I do remember seeing this artwork. But it gives a little yeah. description there. It wasn't very long. Ooh. Ouch. What do you mean, try it? <laughs> they kiss. They kiss, bro. <laughs> I 
Bill comes due. He's such a simple villain, but I, I like him. He doesn't have a lot of layers. He's just a dick. Just a straightforward, aggressive he gangster. Power. Yeah. Love this. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> With the cops right there. I mean, he does have him, have him at a good place. Where you can just oh, yeah. Tell the cops right now. I, I have dirt on your ass. Look at the books. Go ahead. Treat me better. I love that line. What side of whose bed? I like that. Yeah, I do like that too. Oh, Coco Bongo. The only club in town. Mm hmm. Maybe five minutes. <laughs> She's obviously reaching out for help. <laughs> yeah. There's no nobody would go to a bank and be like, you know what, we can't do that. You would just not do it. <laughs> I like Superman Clark. <laughs> it's totally the whole spider-man thing too yeah like before you know like i think mary any jane, secret yeah, like, identity when, yeah when mary jane kissed spider-man in the the toby mcguire yeah. one and then like She's like, I'm in love with Spider-Man. Well, that's kind of while the, she's talking to him, you know, while she's talking. That's to the catch twenty-two of that. Yeah. Why can't I ever get the pretty girl? It's like you did, and it's not you. <laughs> that's a good one, Tim. That he's gonna he's gonna leave Edge City, move to Gotham, and change his name to Edward Digma. <laughs> <laughs> in universe, that's awesome. And that's also why Ace Ventura hates bats because <laughs> he lost to Batman. There you go. Ooh, set up. Man. <sighs> Here we go. He's not wrong. He's right. That's like exactly what it is. Pretty good first guess. Yep. Tom Hiddleston's mask. I like in God of War uh, Ragnarok when you find the, that mask. Pretty cool. He's find Loki's mask and Atreus um, is obsessed with it. I've watched it, but I lost the story. I haven't played it since it was on the PlayStation 2. Oh, do you want spoilers? <laughs> Not right now, but okay. yeah, I'd be interested in the story. Because I liked it. I thought it was good, but it changed so much, like to how it was in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this is great. It, it doesn't work on demand. It makes him look like a jackass. <laughs> now he's like Ace Ventura when he's yeah, like, exactly. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run a button hook pattern in super slow mo. <laughs> Dude, imagine if that's like the same mask that they just modified it or whatever, or from Ace Ventura when he's trying to infiltrate the village. 
<laughs> right, he's thinking he needs a fucking room with four padded walls and a straight jacket. <laughs> That's so dry, but it's so funny. Uh... No. <laughs> Sensitive advice, but he doesn't realize he actually is going through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A uh, possessed entity taking over his body. <laughs> landfill Park. <laughs> landfill too. You're so much better than Landfill. <laughs> I taught Landfill everything he knows. <laughs> I can skip that whole getting to know you phase. <laughs> yes, yeah, like Landfill never died. Uh, that is a beer fest reference, people. <laughs> Man. What a trippy sky, and it almost has like a northern lights thing going. Oh, yeah, I think it's Green. funny what he says. <laughs> oh, the methane! <laughs> yeah, All I the gases in the air yeah. really set off the sunset, huh? <laughs> They're on the edge of gas poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> if you can, if you can last through the asphyxiation long enough, it looks really beautiful. <laughs> um, oh, Pepe Le Pew! We meet again? If I don't think so. <laughs> My quasi <No>. friends. Vichy's <laughs> <laughs> you know me. So Pepe Le Pew right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, red, red rose. <laughs> Is it all phony? <laughs> <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> nope. Eat your heart out, Gandalf. Right. Then I shoot it. <laughs> like Napoleon. Meryl. Meryl. Freeze. You told me to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on freeze. Again, no one goes, how'd he do that? No, it wasn't me. It was whatever, man. Oh man! <laughs> See, camcorders oh, didn't come out till like the nineties. This, this is it. From the Adam Sandler movies. He's the so. commissioner. Yeah, I didn't know he was in this. I forgot. He doesn't have much of a role. Oh, that is that him? What is it? Like um, the only scene he's in. Oh, and wait, wait! Yeah. <laughs> no. Home and where you ring it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, there you go. That was an old stress device. Wow. Bazooka? I have a permit for that. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's so funny. Comes your favorite part. So funny. You yeah. married her. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Once he saw the size of the bug's dick, he got insanely jealous. <laughs> the gherkin. Uh, the gherkin. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so comical. I love it. Great. People repelling. <laughs> People repelling down. Some of those cartoon effects, when you see them done in 3D, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Here we go. This part is amazing. Ghostbusters 2016 tried to do this, but they failed. Only Beetlejuice and Mask have pulled it off. <laughs> chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. What's that? No, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. <laughs> it's the fun of spies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your turn. <laughs> Going very police academy right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> He's actually not bad. Super big Congo line there. Nice. I get hot. <laughs> Ooh, see ya. <laughs> and the people that were rappelling down are just swinging back and forth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody oh, got Lord. infected. Mwah! It's, it's a stranger. So I don't understand why he takes the mask off here, because the guy knows he's him. So he might as well just stay in the mask and keep his powers. Right. Because they needed him to be Stanley for when she pulled up, I guess. Oh, she wouldn't know he's the mask. That's a good point. So the plot needed him to be Stanley at that it, That does make so sense. She, she would, would not him recognize him at all. She does not know, yeah. <laughs> that picture they got of him. He's just totally cheesing it for the camera. <laughs> do anything better than you <laughs> I can.
and they had to make your character a piece of shit because they didn't want a love triangle. They wanted like no one to be in the way of him and Cameron Diaz. And then they'd have oh, the audience yeah, being exactly. like, why didn't he end up with the girl that likes yeah. nice guys? Or mm-hmm. No, she's a villain. She betrays him. Yeah. And I understand that. They both but, are. They're both using him. Yeah. Are there any decent women in this world? Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the landlady was a bitch. Like, yeah, there's just... <laughs> Man. <laughs> now, here, she's manipulating him on purpose. And Cameron is at least being pushed by her boyfriend. Dang. Shady. <clears throat> I lied. Gangster. Sorry, I ran to the bathroom real quick. Uh oh. Ah, his hair's so long. I love how evil mask looks like when it's worn by evil. It it's gnarly. He looks like Bordas. Yeah, he does. He looks <laughs> like uh, the Mocklin. The Mocklins, yeah. <laughs> Or like, actually, he kind of looks like the Krill, also. Yeah. Like a green devil, basically. Because, yeah, it just gives him a deeper demonic voice. When, like, yeah. he didn't do that for Ipkiss. Like, it's, like, super evil. It made him, it gave him more of, like, a whimsical voice and, like, you mm-hmm. know, his fun side. Yeah. It's, like, it make all those cool sound effects. Yeah. That guy's hair. No hair, but that he's got, like, he, he's like a character from Avatar, huh? He's got, like, a monk braid. It is like Avatar. <laughs> Not blue people Avatar, everyone. Yes. The, the airbenders. That dog is so so cute, man. Such a great dog. That dog saves the day. If it wasn't for that dog, the movie would have been lost. Go, doggy, go. Those little dogs can run pretty fast. I've had to chase them a few times. Wait. So that's what you're... All the crazy magic shit? Quite literally. They throw them them at him. From a moving car. (laughs) Good scream. Good scream. Such a fake mask. That's not mine. I'm holding it for someone. Explain the magic and the powers. 
He never asks or cares. Like the cops, just like I've seen. I, I know, I know, I know. It's nothing wild. But they got their man. That's all they care about. Cops dancing in the street. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So sad. Oh. Hey, you with the face. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. visit, please. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know I was here? Oh, me running behind the bush and the mask coming out didn't make you think anything? He's not like you. He's crazy. <laughs> Love crazy wild. Oh, yeah. The devil. <laughs> I can't really do all those dance moves. <laughs> Oh, not cheesy at all. <laughs> uh huh. What? Oh, they were watching. Cop block. <laughs> yeah, give me one more minute, Jesus. He was like, yeah, exactly. Like, he's standing there. All right, they're about to kiss. All right, no. Yep. <laughs> Watch uh, it on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, not what this visit's sweet. about. <laughs> yeah, that dude don't stick out there. Okay, she saw him. Okay. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Goro from uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, instantly drew blood. She drew first blood. Nothing Nobody ever. makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. <laughs> so he could hear, but nobody else at the cop station heard her scream. They're not going to do nothing. Right, police. Right next to the police station. It's not my job. Yep. Right. What happened to that? Oh, such a cute Yay. dog. Good boy. Great scene. Thank you. 
<laughs> like dang, bro. Little dog's trying. It's so funny though. I relate like that to my dog so much. <laughs> Come on with me to the ball tonight. Yikes. And this is just him normally without the mask. I know. I know. This is just, I, I was thinking, why isn't he wearing the mask? It's just like, nah, he's he's pretty much an evil piece of shit without it. Like, Woohoo! Such a good dog. I love this scene. This is such a cool scene. Like the getting the keys with the dog and it's just awesome. This dog's so much better than Baby Groot. Like if this was a video game, this would be like my favorite mission. Like you play as the dog. <laughs> you rescue Stanley from the cage. Like get the key. Keep, you gotta Not keep your cheese. sound down. Yeah. Or else <laughs> he wakes up, game over. Not the cheese. Go on. I like how the dog like pauses too. Yeah. <laughs> Stealth mission accomplished. <laughs> right I mean this would be a sick ass video game because you have like the Stanley missions where you have to be like more stealthy and careful because you're weak and then you have like the missions where you get to be in the mask and do all you're, kinds of things. you're like not shit. even killing anybody yeah They're, they cannot have a mission where you actually plant the mufflers in the right. sphincters though <laughs> <laughs> What do you need that for? Boom, get pistol whip. You just pistol whipped an officer. That'll be good. While trying to escape the incarceration. That would hurt so bad. Right? You could do some get damage. Him. Good point. Put it on. Ow. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> awesome. Oh, pig Latin. Oh, my God. That, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I'm not going to look into it, though. I <laughs> no. love how weird everybody acts. Nah. Like, it's a unique universe. Saw a guy have a green face the other day. That's nothing. Right? Watches a film of him teleporting around a room. He's just like, that was weird. Moving on. Like, okay. <laughs> Or he's like, when, <laughs> when did Sarge get a job? Get a yeah. dog? <laughs> yeah. Coco Bongo. Mm. 
like they totally got their like the money worth out of this uh this set, this set like, this, yeah this place. Cause they go there what three times in the film four, maybe four times wow ah that's a, wow <laughs> ah. Huge cigar, Jesus. Right? More like a blunt, almost. <laughs> Got that sticky icky. He's like a total monster now. Oh, yeah. Walks like a ape. Well, it would have been cool to see like two masks and then they both fight with like the mask powers. I guess they kind of did that in Son of Men. Oh shit, red eyes. He's terrifying looking. I remember as a kid I was kind of scared of him like. Oh yeah, he's demonic like you said earlier. And they gave him that, that super deep voice and... <clears throat> He just sits there and tanks bullets. Everybody with the bald head and the big ponytail. Yeah, there's Steven Seagal fan. That's pretty that's pretty epic. What a way to die. Whoa, boss, did you just shoot him with your face? Right? You just absorbed them bullets. It's like the people of this universe are, are like I'm saying, like they're used to seeing wild shit. So, yeah. Like this isn't the first time something wild's happened. Like there's like there's a Superman in the world or something, you know, like mm -hmm. mystery men or something. Men, yeah, mystery men. That's like champion city. <laughs> No, you need that dog. The dog wearing the mask is easily one of the best scenes in the movie. <laughs> no, I got two guns. <laughs> But, I mean, super brave of him. He's literally taking on an unkillable god at this point. And an army. Oh, why'd they shoot the money? And he's got his James Bond outfit and he's got oh, a James yeah, Bond gun. Real, yeah. and... That's the mayor. What? <laughs> what kind of thug are you? Don't you have any respect? That's what thugs are. Yeah. They don't have any respect for law and order. Silly question, lady. I love that. It's over in 10 minutes. The classic villain thing where they set the timer <laughs> for real long. Milo, that dog is too smart for real. That unlocks it, then opens the door. That dog is brilliant. Yeah. He's more bewild like bewildered by the dog than the yeah, crazy magic else, shit yeah. he saw earlier.
Now he kind of just reminds me of Slimer. <laughs> Sounds so creepy. Oh, yeah. I like how his sideburns are into the mask. I'm just now noticing that the mask has sideburns. Oh, yeah. Behind the shading, yeah. Yay! Milo, Go to the Milo. And da -da -da, the epic music. Oh, this <laughs> is so epic! This. Because how surprised were you the first time you saw this when, like, oh, the mask can work on the animals, too, right? Like, it was a Oh, what, for shock. sure. Like, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Anything with a face. Because this is probably what we're going to get when we get, like, Deadpool dog and stuff, you know? Like, <laughs> zany-ass dog powers. <laughs> oh, Captain Insano. <laughs> I like the eye poke move. <laughs> special, special move. <laughs> oh, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> uh. Crazy face. So funny. <laughs> kicking his ass. <laughs> Dang. There must not be a lot behind those punches. Probably he didn't not. Even, he didn't even knock that dude out or nothing. So I was like, he's a, lot a banker. Of punches, not very much. Yeah, not very much damage. I get that. I, I'm totally okay with that. Damn, get pissed on. Ooh. Back to the future moment. Yep. Totally like the dad. <laughs> dad Whoa. He's got to be. <laughs> <reading>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes go all puffy. The dog is thinking that was the weirdest experience ever. That's so funny. Like dogs have personalities already, but then they even have like a conscious personality. They'll just eject the cartridges. Oh, this is great. It's so good. Drinks this. Yeah, that was a cool practical effect. They had uh -huh. a bunch of yeah. things in the suit with holes, and they shot the liquid. It looked, it looked amazing. It looked good, yeah. He's Clint Eastwood. He loves it. God damn! Two mini guns. It's like it's like War Machine. <laughs> yeah. And then he turns into the Joker. Go bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's one spicy meatball. Literally invincible. Like, what could kill him? Like, that was on the inside of his body. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. what do you have to do? Like, drop him in lava like the E-1000? Uh, no. <laughs> like, literally immortal. It's got to be cut, maybe? I don't know. Would it slice him? I don't know. Fourth wall. I love this, yeah. I'm just going to change, literally change reality. Drawing the tunnel on the rock cliff face. Or grabbing the hole out of the box and throwing it on the ground and they fall through. So that guy fits, huh? <laughs> I want to see where that guy washes out. They pull him out of a pipe somewhere. Right, and he's suffocated because he's probably made it just small enough where he gets stuck in it. Just get wedged. That'd be my nightmare. What a nightmare death. Like Andy Dufresne. <laughs> <laughs> like Andy Dufresne. First he's still night, crawling through I that met shit Andy vibe. Dufresne. <laughs> The rest of those men. Yep. Nice. They would have took that gun from you, though, Playboy. Oh, yeah. There we there go. It is. Only only Commissioner Gordon. The rest of these cops. <laughs> Not so good. Oh, my God. That lady. Oh, no, 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 no. Then you call him Chunky. Yep, it worked out perfectly. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Oil. <laughs> Little humble brag. They're here. in America. He's an American. Little humble brag. Leave the dog alone. Breakfast. Ah, oh, the sidekick. That's funny. <laughs> good supporting characters. Just a good little film. Good comedy of the nineties. I do enjoy it quite a bit. It's like a period piece, but it's not a period piece. You know, it's like yeah. a nineteen fifties, but they're not in the fifties. Like I said, we'll pretend like Son of the Mask never happened. <laughs> it's not as good. In the red dress again. Is that a di that's a different red dress? Yeah, still looks amazing though. Mm hmm. Gets the girl and the dog. Yep, the dog helped save the day. I love this. I would too, bro. I would do exactly what you're gonna do. Oh, Go doesn't he dive after the mask. mask? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Straight up, you might you be done with music? it. You might be done with it, but I am not. Yeah, I haven't real. even had it tried it yet. Milo the dog it. got it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Good movie. And again, one of his firsts. That first few. Man, Jim Carrey just knocked it out of the park with all three of them. Mm-hmm. Just came out of nowhere and gave us completely, completely new comedy, but still kind of familiar to Jim Carrey's physical antics. Yeah. You know? Like, the, totally new idea. Not like anything we've seen him do, but we're like, yeah, we've seen him throw his body around like that a bit. 
Right. So it's like, it it was kind of weird for that to be the familiar thing. Yeah. You know? And if you didn't watch In Living Color, which I'm sure a lot of adults didn't at the time, I bet that it was totally new to them completely. Which I wouldn't even know what to think of this guy if I hadn't even heard of him. And then to see it and be like, where'd this guy come from? He's hilarious. I mean, for him to do those first three movies, what is it? Uh, Ace Ventura, Mask, and um, Dumb and Dumber. Oh, mm-hmm. my God, dude. Just yeah, I, I so, love this movie. such fire. This is a definite buy for me. Yeah, definitely a buy. It's it's between an 8 or a 9 out of 10 for me, honestly. Like I nitpick it, and I have little problems with it. It's like not a perfect movie or whatever, but mm-hmm. it's just fun. And but, I like all the characters in it. I, I like enough, the pacing. There are some kind of dark spots in it, but compared... Like, we watch some movies that are, can, are children's movies now, and we're like, whoa, this was in yeah. that? Really? This line? You know, so this easily can be a child's favorite movie. Yeah, you the know. condom thing will just go over their head. <laughs> like, it, it, mm-hmm. it did me as at, at a young age watching. This That's movie. probably the most over the top, like explicit thing. Yeah, but it's not. There's no sexual content there. Yeah, it's a condom, you know, and it's like, oh, he has protected sex. You're yep. gonna get once you start realizing what it is. Every five years, you'll get a different perspective at that joke. Yeah. <laughs> At one but, time, you're like, oh, of course you would have one in your pocket. And then five years later, you're like, ew, he has a one yeah. open in his pocket. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But yeah, I'd say eight, nine, right in there. Yeah, just because it's just a must like buy. Much. Yeah. And one of the only movies where they really pulled, they've tried to do cartoon motions in with characters before but this movie pulls it off i mean this movie is roger rabbit without the cartoons yeah you know they they integrated it just that next step because he's like yeah he's like a live action art art uh cartoon Mm -hmm. and and they're definitely 3d renders instead of the 2d animation in 3d space yeah you know because those cartoons were still flattish in mm-hmm. in that one so they come they came a long way in a pretty short time i mean yeah. geez that would be like what six seven years maybe Mm-hmm. yeah and jim carrey super funny in this movie we got it was kind of like me myself and irene because he's kind of playing two characters mm-hmm. in a yeah. way but yeah uh i don't know what what did we decide we're gonna watch next Hmm. Yeah, the mask. Were we going to do Dumb and Dumber or were we going to get off Jim Carrey? Hmm. Because that would probably be the only other one I think we'd need to do. Yeah. If we did did one more Jim Carrey movie, that'd probably be it. I mean, Truman Show and and Cable Guy, all those movies are great, but Dumb and Dumber's just got so much in it. Yeah. I mean, Bruce Almighty's pretty good, too. Oh, that's, that's really good, too. Liar, liar is always a good classic. Mm. And yeah, Jim Carrey really probably doesn't have as much to do with his starring female roles as Adam Sandler does, but just yeah. with knockouts in almost all of his movies. You know oh yeah, I mean? <laughs> in Bruce Almighty, he was with Jennifer Aniston, yeah. and probably at Jennifer Aniston's peak, because I thought yeah. after Friends, I thought she got more attractive. But now I think she might be doing some work. Yeah. She's changed a little bit. It's like, I don't know if it's she's aging well or if, like, mm, she's as old as she is. I think she should, I feel like she should look different. (laughs) Right. But we're in a new age. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe we should switch it up from Jim Carrey for now and go to something else. We'll see, what, you? we'll see what we can pull out here. Have you seen Euro Trip before? Is that um, Seth Green? Uh, oh no, no, he does the uh, he does um, up the creek, huh? Or without so. a paddle or something? Yeah, without a paddle. That's that's a pretty funny movie. 
But if you've never seen Euro Trip, Euro Trip's another one of my favorites. Like that's a it's, funny it's ass road movie. trip though, but it's Euro Trip, right? Yeah. So basically, like the series. plot, the plot of it, like uh, this guy like had a pen pal in the in like in Europe, and then he, he thought it was a guy, and then like he finds out that he's been talking to a chick. And she's like been saying she wants to meet him and stuff. Oh, funny! And his right. girlfriend breaks up with him, so he decides to go to to Europe and meet this girl. So he's like trying to meet this girl he met online, and it's yeah, we we'll watch it's, that. It's, it's a funny cool ass fucking that. movie. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of like big name people in it, but mm-hmm. Kristen Kruk is like the biggest name in it. Oh well, we know yeah. who that is. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, and then Vinny, Vinny Jones and. Lucy Lawless. No, that's not roles. the name of the movie. That's probably not the movie. I was going to say, this is the one with the Scotty Doesn't Know song, is it? Yeah, it is. That oh, is. it is. Yeah, Matt Damon singing it. Okay. And then He's is, in the movie is David Furlong thing. in it? Uh, which one is David Furlong? He's the one that was in the. Um, he's the one that gets hit by the wrench in Dodgeball. No, I'm sorry. I. I don't think so. I don't think I got his name but, exactly right. Yeah, man. If, so you have seen it then, huh? Because you heard, you know the song. No, I know the song, but I know because I know song. I know music. Um, gosh, Scotty doesn't find... know. He was the yeah, same dude. guy that was in the Die Hard movie too with Bruce Willis. That that was literally one of my favorite movies for such a long time. Like, the, I I would listen to the Scotty doesn't know song all the time. And then also there's a there's a funny ass thing where. Uh, Scotty's the main character. Like whenever he gets like an uh, instant message or whatever on his computer, there, there's just a voice that goes "mail motherfucker," <laughs> and I literally got that that sound bit, and I had it on oh my, my computer God, when I got funny. mail, just like him, "mail motherfucker." <laughs> that's that's. But yeah, funny. maybe we'll we'll watch that next week. I haven't I haven't seen the pick. movie. I I do know the song though, of course, but oh, I mean, because oh, yeah. especially I sing karaoke, so I totally know that song. It's, it's such a fun, <laughs> such a fun movie. Like. I love that shit. Oh, t- Justin Long. Yeah, Furlong, no, he's not I think, in was that the one. guy in. He's but, not. Oh, okay, I thought he was the boyfriend. Because I've seen that Scotty doesn't know video, and I was like, "What the hell, Kristen Crooks in the movie?" Yeah, just at the <laughs> beginning. She has a little role at the beginning, and then Matt Damon just does the song and. But it's still I thought funny that, that funny. it is Matt Damon. He's, yeah, I was like, he's in the movie and he's obviously lip syncing. Oh yeah, <laughs> and those are fake ass piercings for sure because he's like, got all these oh, yeah, yeah, piercings, yeah. and I'm like, he didn't get a fucking single one of those. I thought that was funny too, and he's so much older, looks so much older than everybody. Yeah. So that that'll be next Tuesday, and then you can pick the the movie. Okay, after yeah, that. we'll go. We'll, we'll take we'll, turns picking movies. And, yeah, we'll talk a little. But yeah, this was fun. Out. The mask, eight or hey, ah. I'm just going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I love it and I love everybody's performance. I love the sets and like just I love the whole vibe and I'm I'm sitting here watching it again. I'm like so intrigued by Edge City and like it just looks good. Aesthetically yeah. they have really good sets. There's obviously sometimes when you can tell it's a painting, you know, it's like mm-hmm. a 2D dra- backdrop put yeah. there. But I mean, they're not going for the look we're filming outside that's not yeah. the point and you could totally tell it was a sound stage when uh Yo, they, do, yeah. they do the dance number and like oh the yes warwick yes. hotel and it's like there's like these like you know fake buildings that you'd see at like universal studios mm-hmm. and then like yeah two little fake streets well weird but, oddly yeah. enough yeah. the club is the only thing that seems like it could be there <laughs> right because like, apartment multiple very times. stage like yeah. the garage very much a setup stage Everything, the bank, very much, you know, I mean, they barely show, and out they're showing the outside of some other building, and then they're showing you the inside of the bank. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but yeah, there's just so many good characters in this movie. Like, I like the, the cop guy. Like, I would almost watch something with him and his partner, and, like, other, like, crimes of Ed City or something would even be, because I just want to know more about this world and, like, why he's so, like, blase about like magic and shit You're like, like yeah what does happen they're like oh we had a magic bullet last week you right because like the whole town to is kind with. of like that because mm-hmm. even the mayor like yeah they're like yeah he was the mask but like nobody is like you know bewildered or like had their life changed by this they all just but, like, oh, um, another crazy person's in the city with powers you know like stanley that kind of does say at the end he's like i i would do the same as any other red-blooded american mm-hmm. in my place so they're in america 
but that's still the X Men, like an alternate X-Men, universe. DC, they're all in America. Yeah. America's consistent through all the timelines. <laughs> and then I realized that uh, the the red haired girl, the uh, the reporter girl that betrays him, that was Maid Marian from uh, Robin Hood Men and Tights. Oh, that's where I knew her. I was like, yeah, she looks like, so familiar. Yeah, I just will always remember her going, "You the make chastity me so belt. happy." <laughs> the way she says they happy, yeah, the chastity belt. And the great, it does unlock the greatest key or the uh, the greatest treasure. Greatest all treasure all ever. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Oh it doesn't goodness. fit. Call the locksmith. <laughs> Call the locksmith. But uh, yeah, man. Um, this was fun. Yeah, I'm excited to see the um, Joker two trailer tonight. I was. Uh, it's coming out in like an hour, supposedly. So I, I mean, like, I'm not like stoked about the musical aspect, but if they make it kind of fun, like Sweeney Todd or something, like hmm. musical murder, and I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see with the trailer yeah. because if it's a musical, the trailer's probably gonna show some of the musical stuff, or they might stay clear. I don't know. We'll I I could I don't know. No, no. I guess like I, f- I feel the same way about Joker as I feel about Logan. I guess <laughs> you don't just like. like it's just like I don't understand why people got so hyped about this. It's so corny. Yeah, him changing like uh, the the scenes with him on the talk show are good. Like the whole mm-hmm. rest of the movie, I could do without. <laughs> yeah, but it's it changed his origin. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if I like. They don't have to give everybody an or, and it's so horrible. Like he just kind of gets worked in with these guys, and then they frame yeah. him, and now he's this evil guy. You know, it's like ah, it's not big enough for the Joker, right? Well, I I like the idea that the white was his skin. Yeah, it was some major traumatic. Like this, yeah the. Acme acid or whatever. A psychological break that we can't relate to. Don't make it something everybody goes I, through. I kind of liked in Dark Knight, though, how he wore the makeup to kind of hide the scars. No, that that was, an, again, that was probably my favorite. And they still kept it mysterious. Was, he told two different stories, so we don't, weren't sure if they were true. It's either. as yeah. real life as you can make Batman be, I yeah. thought. you know, And I was like, this is great. It's not comic book Batman, but for Batman, it's awesome, you know, but if you want to see Batman really swinging around on his wire and doing gliding and Batman things that you're not going to get it in the movies as much because it's not practical for him to be doing that shit. (laughs) I mean, he doesn't glide through town looking for crimes, (laughs) right? (laughs) You can only see so much from one point on that gargoyle. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. All right, let's end the show here. Thanks everybody for Yay. watching. Jet Sparks, Tim, Instant Rusher, Sci Fi Sedan, Rocco, Carla Burton, Daniel. See you guys later, and we will see Bye. you on the next one. End of transmission. I suppose you have it.